In a world overflowing with superficial, artificial, and inconsequential concerns, Mark Manson's, The Subtle Art of Not Giving AF is a breath of fresh air. The book teaches us that the secret to living a good life lies not in chasing happiness, but in developing a balanced perspective on life's challenges. Manson's candid, no-nonsense approach encourages readers to embrace the hard truths that define our existence and to focus on what genuinely matters to us. Delving into the heart of the book, we discover a world brimming with unconventional wisdom, provocative insights, and transformative ideas. Manson kicks off by asserting that our culture has become obsessed with the pursuit of happiness. We are constantly bombarded with messages that happiness is the ultimate goal and that we deserve to be happy all the time. However, this incessant pursuit, Manson argues, is not only futile but also counterproductive. By chasing happiness, we inadvertently trap ourselves in a never-ending cycle of dissatisfaction. The crux of Manson's philosophy is that the key to living a fulfilled life lies in embracing our problems, confronting our limitations, and choosing what we truly value. It's about recognizing that life is inherently full of struggles, and the way we confront and respond to these struggles defines who we are. The book teaches us the art of, not giving AF, not in a callous or apathetic sense, but by carefully choosing what is truly important to us and investing our energy in those pursuits. One of the central themes in the book is the idea of embracing responsibility for our lives. Manson emphasizes that we are in control of our reactions and the meaning we ascribe to the events that happen to us. By taking responsibility for our circumstances, we reclaim our power and control our destiny. This notion of self-ownership is critical, as it allows us to recognize the difference between our external circumstances and our internal response. Another powerful idea in, The Subtle Art of Not Giving AF, is the concept of embracing our limitations. Manson argues that it is our limitations that make us unique, human, and ultimately lovable. Accepting our imperfections allows us to let go of the need to be right, successful, or admired all the time. This acceptance frees us from the weight of unrealistic expectations and the constant pressure to perform. Manson also challenges the pervasive belief that we are all special and unique. He asserts that this mentality is harmful, as it creates a sense of entitlement that hinders personal growth. By acknowledging that we are not exceptional by default, we can focus on the areas where we genuinely excel and cultivate a more authentic self-image. One of the most striking aspects of Manson's book is his candid exploration of the value of suffering. He argues that pain, struggle, and suffering are essential components of a meaningful life. The challenges we face help us grow, learn, and develop resilience. By engaging with our struggles, we can derive a sense of purpose and fulfillment that is far more profound than the fleeting pleasure of hedonistic pursuits. The book also delves into the importance of cultivating strong, healthy relationships. Manson suggests that in order to foster authentic connections, we must be willing to be vulnerable and to engage in honest, sometimes uncomfortable conversations. This emotional openness allows us to build trust, deepen our connections, and create lasting bonds. Perhaps one of the most transformative ideas in, The Subtle Art of Not Giving AF, is the concept of, death as a motivator. Manson encourages us to confront our mortality, arguing that the awareness of our inevitable demise can inspire us to live more authentically, to take risks, and to invest in what truly matters to us. By keeping our mortality in perspective, we can learn to value our time more and make more meaningful choices. The subtle art of not giving AF is not a guide to apathy. It's a manifesto of choosing your battles wisely, of understanding that not every aspect of life is worth our attention and emotional investment. Manson's philosophy goes against the grain of traditional self-help advice, rejecting the constant pursuit of positivity and instead advocating for a more balanced, authentic approach to life. It emphasizes the importance of finding value and meaning in our struggles, and investing our energy into the things that truly matter to us.